right, in this video I want to demonstrate, show how to uh, check for precious metals on a circuit card. I'm going to take and scrape, scrape some of the solder mask off some of the uh, metal on the circuit card. And I'm going to add some 18K gold test solution, which is a mixture of nitric acid, muriatic acid, which everyone knows, uh, well, most people know that are into this that that makes aqua regia and we're going to put a drop on our circuit card let it set for a second and then what we'll do is it's turning blue I can see it turning blue I don't know if the camera shows that there start to get a little reaction it's fizzing blue is the indi uh, indicator of copper I'm going to blot it with a piece of paper towel here and we've got some blue color on our napkin. I've got a little stannous chloride testing solution here. I'm going to apply a drop of that and see if we get a reaction. And there's no reaction as you see. So there's no gold there. More than likely this material is just copper. I can see the copper color on the circuit card. Okay now I'm going to take the 18k gold test solution which is a mixture of nitric acid and muriatic acid, which I all know is, uh, forms aqua regia. This is probably dilute aqua regia. I'm just going to apply a drop of it to these gold fingers here on the end of the circuit card. Now I'm going to put it up towards the light and get some heat to it. And see if we can get a reaction going here. If you can see that or not. Well, what's happening is the heat is causing the aqua regia to dissolve the metal on those fingers. I see a little bit wisps of steam or something coming off of there now. And as it heats up, we start to get a little bit of a reaction. I don't know if you can see that on the camera or not. It's fizzing out pretty good now. I'll right, put this back down. That should be enough. Now I'll do the same thing. I'm going to blot the test area with a piece of paper towel. And you can see there's pretty heavy copper stain there. But watch what happens when I put some Stannous chloride test solution on the area where the uh, the acid contacted the gold fingers. You see that brown stain? That verifies that we have gold going into solution. This circuit card has some silver colored metal on it. And what I'm going to do is use some uh, Shorter's testing solution which is potassium dichromate dissolved in a little dilute nitric acid. I'll take a drop of this and put it on the uh, silver colored metal and see what happens. Let it set for a minute. Looks like it's turning red. Red is the color we want to see if it's silver. But this stuff can be tricky. The only way to tell that an actual color is to blot it with some paper and and then check the color that it turns to paper. And that's not really a red color. That's more of a brownish yellow stain, which means negative for silver. It's not silver. This is a piece of uh, sterling silver, and I'm going to apply some test solution to demonstrate the color that we're looking for to indicate silver. Put a drop on the piece of known silver, and instantly it turns red. And there's no question, that's a red dot that I get on the piece of paper towel. That's how quickly the solution will react with silver.
here we have an Intel Pentium Pro CPU. It's going to apply a drop of 18K gold test solution, which is dilute aqua regia. Now we're going to take it up, do the same thing, put it up by the light, add some heat, see if we can get a reaction going. See that with the camera or not? Let's leave it up here a few seconds. It starts to heat up the uh, the aqua regis should attack that gold is also let it then enable us to be able to get a test on it. I already know that there's gold here. I just wanted to uh, show how the or the uh, 18k gold test solution works. <laughs> it's been up by the light for about a minute now. Go ahead and bring it back down and do the test. Lots of one piece of paper towel here. I can see a yellowish color. I'm going to go ahead and add some dense chloride. And that brown stain indicates that we do have gold going into solution. That's one way to tell if you have precious metals on your uh, circuit boards. Put a drop of 18K test gold solution on it which is dilute aqua regia. Maybe apply a little heat with a lamp, blot it onto a piece of paper towel, and then add a drop of stannous chloride test solution. And that'll tell you whether or not you've got gold in solution. Thanks for watching.